Welcome to my space and thoughts on all things prayer. Happy New Year guys. Welcome to my channel, Life with Sunshine. And today I just wanted us to begin and start the year with prayer. Last year, I don't know about you, for me was a tough year. Many of us um, in the world were affected by COVID either like personally or you know, not infected or affected by it. So I just wanted us to begin the year with um, prayers for the year to come and the plans that we have ahead. So I just like us to pray. So wherever you are, you can just listen into the prayer and pray along with me. And also if you have any prayer request you'd like me to pray for, you can put it down in the comment section. As we are told in the Bible, in all things, we must give thanks. So the first thing we're going to do for is pray in thanksgiving for all that we experienced last year. So let's bow our heads and close our eyes and pray. Dear Lord and Father in heaven, we come before you this day. We thank you so much for all that you have done for us. We thank you for being a good and merciful Father. We thank you that you created us, Father, and you're seated in heaven with earth as your footstool watching over us. In everything that we do, Lord, you are our supreme God. We thank you so much for that. We thank you, Father, for the year that was 2021. We thank you for all that we have experienced, the good and the bad. Some of us have lost our loved ones. Some of us have lost our wives, our husbands, our children, our parents, Father. But we just want to say thank you that you have brought us into this new year. We know we are not more special than those who are not able to make it to this new year, but I just want to say thank you. We thank you, Father, and we bless your name for you are a good and gracious God, and you are to be praised forever and ever. This year, Lord, we have so many plans that we want to bring before you. We have plans for our businesses, plans for our health, Father, for our families. We want to bring all of them in. Uh, before you, O oh God. You tell us that when we come to you, Father, in humility, that our prayers rise up to you as sweet incense. I pray that even now as we put all our plans for the year ahead, that you may go ahead of us, that you may guide us and show us the way to go, O oh Lord. Sometimes, Father, we make plans and we do not involve you in them and we end up making so many mistakes, Father, and we ask for forgiveness for that. And I pray that your Holy Spirit may guide us on the journey ahead, that we may only move where you tell us to move and, and when you tell us to move, that all our plans may go well. I want to pray, O oh Lord, for those who are looking for work. I pray that you may provide work for them. Jehovah Jireh, you are provider, and there's nothing too hard for you. For those who, Lord, have not even anything to eat at this moment, Father. I pray that you may send somebody or something their way that they may have something to eat, Father. I want to pray for those who may be downtrodden, who are going through a tough time mentally, emotionally. I pray, Lord, that you may cover them, that you may be their strength and their refuge. I pray that you may be their Jehovah Shalom and be their peace in their lives, that whatever it is that may be a storm in their minds that you may come it and that they may have the peace that only comes from you. Father, for the year ahead, we ask for protection for all our family members. We ask, O oh Lord, that you may keep them safe, keep all of us under your arms of love and protection. I pray that no evil thing that may be planned against us may prosper, Lord. I pray that we may always be under your arms, Father, that your holy angels will be with us wherever we go. I thank you for the year that was, that we were able to move this year into this year with the family members that we have, and we want to say thank you for that, O oh Lord. We want to ask, Father, that we may see your mercies throughout this year. Sometimes we may feel like we're going through a tough time and you don't know how it's going to be tomorrow, but we know that every morning, Father, your mercy is a new one to us. I pray that even in our darkest hour, we might remember that he's just always darkest before dawn, that, Lord, you're going to carry us through whatever it is that um, we are going through. Lord, this year is the 
elections for this country, Kenya. Lord, I want to put this electoral year into your hands. I pray, O oh Lord, that you may give our leaders wisdom that only comes from you, that they may be able to lead and guide us in the right way, that they may promote only peace, love, and unity. I pray that the citizens of this country, Father, may also um, want to do the same and that they may not cause any chaos or any harm to anyone or to each other, that we may all live in harmony, Father. I pray that even the leaders who are going to be elected this year may be leaders who will move this country to a better place and a better position. I pray that even as we transition into the new to the new government or the new leaders who will be there, that it may be peaceful, that there may be no drama that will happen in the country, that we may continue and even move into a better place um, as a nation, Father. I pray, Father, again for peace, for love, and for unity. Father, I want to thank you for all those who are hearing the sound of my voice or those who are watching. I pray that you may meet them at their very, very point of need. Their heart's desires, Father, we all have things in our hearts that we are praying and hoping and trusting in you for. I pray, Lord, that you may answer them, but only according to your will. I pray that you may give us patience to be able to wait on you, even as you take us through um, this season of waiting until you answer our prayers. We want to thank you for the many breakthroughs that are going to come through this this year. We want to thank you in advance and worship you for that, O oh Lord. I pray that even as the year continues, that we may be a blessing to at least even one person. There are those of us who are more privileged than others, Lord. I pray that we may use this our blessedness to be a blessing to somebody else, even though it may be through an encouraging word, through a prayer, through sharing a meal, or even just a hello. I pray that you may be a blessing at least to one other person, Father. I want to thank you so much for who you are. May you continue being our King and our Father in our lives. I pray that you may keep us safe. And when the year comes to an end, we'll be careful to give you the praise and honor that belong to you. For it in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <sighs> that is the best way to begin your year is just placing everything in the hands of God. And knowing that he's going to be there for us, no matter what happens, no matter what we do, no matter the circumstances, God is always going to be with us. And I pray that you may be blessed into the new year. And don't forget every day to consecrate your plans and yourself to the Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time. Bye.